Hello my foodie friends, this is Loki. Welcome back to my kitchen. Super excited today. We have delicious mouth-watering spicy goat meat, also known as Asun in Nigeria. And my motivation for this is because it's absolutely delicious and I want to share my recipe with you. So why don't we just get into it, shall we? So, I have our goat meat here, which is previously seasoned. I'll give you the recipe for that. Some previously cooked stew, about three quarters of a cup to a cup. I have my fresh chopped up vegetables. I have my sweet peppers, onions, my white um, sweet Spanish onions and my red onions. I have pepper over here that's spicy, the scotch bonnet. And it's pretty so much easy and in the summertime, what do we smell? Barbecues, grilling meats, parties, everything, everything good. And so on a beautiful day like today in New Jersey, I want to share this with you. All right, so in my goat seasoning that I put for marinating overnight, I have my goat previously washed and then I added in a blender salt, pepper, maggi, thyme, grated ginger, grated garlic, maggi cubes, and then I added a little bit of water and all the vegetables you see here, about a half of a handful. So my meat is already spicy. I can smell it from here. I can smell thyme, which I added everything a little bit, a dash, about a teaspoon or so. And it's just been sitting overnight in the refrigerator covered with foil so all the deliciousness can get through the goat meat. All right, so let's get started. Uh, this is going to take about a total of an hour before I can get in my belly and I'm going to put it on the side of some delicious sweet corn. But you can serve us soon with anything, rice, yam, anything you like or by itself is just perfect. I have my pan here on a medium high heat and I'm going to spray a little bit of oil in the, in the bottom. Good to go. Your pan is ready when you hear the sizzle. So I'm going to add one piece at a time. This already smells amazing. Now I have my meat in the pan. I'm gonna make sure the heat is a little bit less than like a medium to low heat. And I'm going to put the top on and let it sit for five minutes. Okay, it's been five minutes, let's check on our meat. Oh my gosh, the aroma is filling up my house right now. And so we're gonna give the meat. We're gonna give the meat a mix, make sure it's all good. And the goat is already gonna let go of some of its own juices, so it's gonna sit in there and continue to cook for a little bit. So goat takes a long time to cook, otherwise it would be chewy. And so I'm gonna let this sit here for about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on your flame. So I have a medium flame, so I'm gonna do 20 minutes. I'm going to add just a little bit of water, just a little bit. A little bit more. I'm gonna put the top on, let it cook for 20 minutes, and while this is cooking, I'm gonna go turn on my grill and preheat my oven so I can show you the two ways on how to finalize this delicious um, dish. And the great thing about cooking is that it's your creation, and a lot of people make this different ways, but this is my version, so I have perfected it. I've done it many times, and I promise you, you will not be disappointed. So let me get my grill started, and I'll see you when this is ready to go. You can actually turn the heat up a little bit from a medium low to a medium, little, between medium and high heat. Just make sure you keep an eye on it if the water goes away that the meat won't be stuck. But I have the perfect amount here and I can tell you right now, this is going to be gone tonight. Oh, I cannot wait. Yum. Getting hot, ready to go. While my um, goat is cooking on the stovetop, I am going to prepare my foil and I'm going to serve my asun with some corn on the side roasted on the grill also. So you just, I rinsed it already and you're just going to fold it up and get them ready. I cut them in half because my kids um, will take about half, otherwise the whole thing will end up wasted and we cannot have such delicious food wasted. All ready to go. Here's our 10 minute check. I'm gonna give it a whirl. Oh my gosh, I could eat this right now. I have my foil pan, uh, my foil and my pan here. My, I'm gonna line it nice and neat so that the juices don't get out here so I can 
the pan clean as possible for as long as possible. Everything is nice and secure, so when you're finished with your cooking, you can just fold this foil up, throw it in the garbage, and clean up on the pan will be nice and easy. Thank me later for that. Here we are at our 20 minute mark. Amazing, I'm gonna just eat it all now and this video will end. <laughs> you can check if your meat is still chewy by taking the biggest piece of meat that you have, giving it a cut down the middle. Look at that goodness, oh my gosh. So this is okay for me. Um, we like our meat just a little bit chewy and also this is gonna cook while it is in the grill and in the oven. So let's get the meat out of the pot and onto the grill and into the oven. So here I have my meat that I'm going to put on my um, pan here and go into the oven. I'm just going to gently spray with some oil again. I'm going to place my meat on it, spread it out. Put a little bit of onion. Taste and you should check for salt at this point. Mine is uh, good, so I'm not going to add any more. In the oven at 350 degrees. See you later. Go set your timer for 25 minutes. Here I have my delicious mouth-watering asun and my corn ready for the grill. Let's go! I can't wait. Nice and hot, ready to go. Let's put on our corn. It smells like summer. Because my goat are bite-sized pieces and I don't want them to fall into the grill grates, I'm going to take a piece of foil and make it like a bowl to catch the juices of the goat as it's cooking and so that they don't fall into the grates. That would be a shame. So I'm gonna put my goat here. Spread them out for even cooking, like so. Add some of my onions. It smells like summer, guys. Like, I, if you want to come over and eat, I will feed all of you. For real, I can't wait to serve this. This is amazing. All right, let's put it on the grill. Ooh, Papa. Hear that? Perfection. We'll check on this every five minutes or so and give our corn a turn so that it doesn't get burnt just on one side. There we go. All right. I'm checking on my asun at about halfway done and I'm going to just turn my meat over. Put it back in and let it continue to roast. Checking on my meat on the grill. It's smelling amazing. I'm let it sit for another Minutes. Don't forget to turn your corn. It's been 25 minutes. I'm taking my asun out of the oven. It's crispy. It's amazing to look at. And let's look at the meat off the grill. Look at that amazingly, perfectly roasted meat. Now, if you don't like it as dark, you can take it off a few minutes earlier. Look at that. Let's get it in the pan and finish this up. It's time for dinner. Clean up is a breeze, right in the garbage. No anything on the grill. Let's get our sweet, delicious roasted corn off the grill that everyone loves. Right here we have our grill roasted asun, and right here we have our oven roasted asun. So they pretty much look the same. The one on the grill is a little bit darker because I left it there and the heat got a little bit hot, but they look almost exactly the same. So they're both gonna be delicious and amazing and roasted and peppery just the way we like it so what i'm going to do is get a pan and turn it on a medium heat side by side so you can guess which one's which here we have it we are at the final step before we get to get this beautiful delicious amazing dish in our belly so we have our medium uh, high heat well medium heat i'm going to just give it a little spray of the oil if you don't have spray oil you can use olive oil just to coat the very bottom of the pan right now I'm going to add my uh, chopped up uh, peppers. I, sh I cook with a lot of colors, so I like to put this in here, let it heat up for a minute. Here I have my scotch bonnet pepper. I'm gonna let it sit so the flavor of the pepper, the heat will come out in the food. Here's my second pan. So 
So it's been about three minutes with my heat on medium, my vegetables cooking in here. At this point, I'm going to add my pre-cooked stew. Hear that sizzle? Let it heat up. Make sure that you do not go far because this will burn on the pan. That's why I put the oil in. Give it a good mix. And this is when you add your perfectly roasted, delicious, mouth-watering meat. Make sure that it's completely covered. Every piece of meat has stew on it. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm. Put the top on. Let's sit for five minutes. Second one. Now traditionally you would blend onions and hot peppers and put it into the pan but my stew is already um, spicy and so when I marinated my meat it was also spicy so this is just a quick you know, fix to make this delicious meal. Close the meat. It's time, ladies and gents. I'm not even gonna lie to you. My husband just came downstairs and he said he needs to eat now. So let me plate this one up and this one up because I can't keep him waiting any longer. I'm serving these meals with a delicious side salad. After all, it is summer and my corn. So let's see if you can tell which one's which. There you have it, everybody. My roasted Nigerian Asun accompanied by a side chopped salad and roasted corn on the grill. Here is plate number two. Look at the, the beautiful colors. The aroma is amazing. Can you guess which one is from the grill? And which one is from the oven? If so, leave me a comment. But to me, they both look exactly the same. I'll tell you which one. But right now I gotta feed my man, I gotta feed my family. And give me two thumbs up if you like this video and I'm gonna be making lots more. See this, I don't wanna get it cold, I'm gonna go eat now. Have a wonderful day, thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment, subscribe, anything good. Share the love.